This is from Axel. Hey Axel, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Uh, Axel sent me another image. Let's go in here. Axel would like to know how do you use something like a T-slot cutter to um, to cut a T-slot in a like a CNC mill table. So let's do that. Um, let's get out of this stuff here. Get back into Fusion. Come on, Fusion. And let me show you that. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to model. We're actually going to design our own cutter. You can do that inside of Fusion. So um, let's try that. So I'm going to go in here, create a new sketch. And uh, I am just going to try to draw this up without too much brain power. I'm going to make a 10 millimeter shaft. I'm make a cut 100 millimeter long. And I'm going to do another rectangle here. It's going to be a T. It's going to make 10 millimeters up. And then let's make it um, 25 wide right there. Now, I actually probably would trim this up. So let me just delete these dimensions for a second here. And let me just go into the trim tool and just get rid of those. And then I will probably redesign it. So like that there and the shank. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of, I just designed it the way that I probably would measure the cutter. Now, this is only half of the cutter. So this is actually a, a it's going to end up being a 10 millimeter slot that can actually cut in 25 millimeters from center. But that actually means that it can only be a 15 millimeter deep slot. But we sketch this up as a sketch. So this is how you can draw up your, your, your cutter. And make sure when you do this, Axel, that make the origin be right there where the center of rotation is actually if you the easiest way to do it is actually to do it the same way you would do it revolve so if i did a revolve select this profile and rotate it around that center right so that's a t cut slot cutter right there and you can get rid of the revolve there again this gets back on so what you can do is that if you go in to your manufacturer tab and if you go up underneath the manage, you can click form mill right up here. Click on that and you will select your tool profile. It will kind of like be the same thing as we selected before. And the axis that it's going to spin around on and make sure again that that's the origin right here. Make sure the arrow is pointing down. You can flip that up and down right there. And then you actually get to select a compensation point. Um, what is where the cutter is going to compensate from and I would probably select that lower corner right there hit OK and when you hit OK you will see right now that nothing has really happened except if we go up to the tool library right now inside of our open file this is the file we have open right now we have a 50 millimeter form end mill in here Okay, now it's only inside of this file that we have open untitled up here that hasn't been renamed. So what I would do under your local library, right click, I know that's a lot of instructions here. New tool library, let's call this one Excel because that's your tool library Excel. And uh, then I will go back up to our, our document that is open right now and I would drag that into Excel. So now we click on Excel, we now have that form tool in there. Now it's saved, okay? Now let's open up a new document. Let's open up something here. Let's make this 200 by 200 like this. And let's extrude that. So we're just extruding a block out of steel like that. Let's go ahead and create a sketch on that. And somewhere in here, we're gonna make a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter slot. And it can only be, well, it could only be 15 millimeters. So let's make it 12. So we don't crash anything. And uh, to the 
adds there. Let's make it 15. And let's cut that through. Q. So now we have that slot. Now, if we go into our manufacturer, set a setup, it's fine. And let's do a 2D contour toolpath. There you go, Axel. Select that inner edge. That's the same edge where I had my uh, my compensation point. And let's go and select that end mill out of Axel's library. There's the form end mill. You can see we get a, a view of it there. Hit OK. And if we did it right, then we will see that that is T slotting right down there. Let's send the stock off so we can see it again. So there's your cheese slot cutter cutting out that opening right there. So that's how you do that, Axel. If it went a little bit too fast, rewind back. Uh, that's okay. Um, watch it a couple of times. Have a, have a drink, whatever you need. And hopefully that's useful.